You have to bring the season down. That's it. Hey, friends. So, it has literally rained for the past three days. And I'm kind of over it. In addition to the rain, I've had to work. So, I have not been able to come out here and check on the garden, see what's going on. Make sure the, the caterpillars aren't eating my stuff because, you know, that's what usually happens when it's raining and you can't get out there. The caterpillars, caterpillars start eating. So oh, this is the first that I've been able to get out here and kind of check on things. And I'd be lying if I wasn't a little anxious. So let's see what's going on in the garden. All right. So the first thing that I see is that my tomatoes have some curly leaves. I'm not sure what, oh, do you guys see that? Can you see that? Wait a minute, let me get in there. Y'all see that? Oh, we got a tomato. Yeah, they look good. So this is an early girl. I'm actually gonna break that sucker off right now. I said I was gonna take, stay on top of that. Sucker's gotta go. Um, so yeah, the leaves are curling. I'm not sure what's going on with that. It could be all of the rain. Um, I don't know, but they are curling. I'm gonna have to look it out. If you guys know what might be going on, please let me know. Help your girl out. But you can see I have a fruit cluster here and another fruit cluster there. So first tomatoes of the season. Um, these are collards. These look pretty good. I think these are collards. Maybe not. This might be um, cabbage, actually, now that I think about it. Um, but yeah, still look good. Oh my gosh, and I suppose a plant this. Let me go ahead and get this in the ground. Like, this is, y'all, oh my gosh. Like, it's done grown roots. Ugh. Look at that. Let me get this in the ground. No, that's just, that's just a mess. Like, I should be ashamed of myself. Let me back you out. Like, look, the roots and grew through the bottom. Oh, this might not make it. Maybe I'll just bury the whole thing. How about I experiment with that? I'ma just bury the whole thing. I'ma put it in, um, I'ma put it in a grow bag. This grow bag doesn't have anything growing in it. That's where it's going. Boom. Ugh. I'll come back and do that. Okay. So, these collards, they are still looking good. Like, these are the ones that um my mom and I had picked from. Oh, what's that? Uh, I don't know. But something was munching on that. But I don't see anything on the bottom. Look how big this collard green is. Like... Let's see if I can turn it. My hand for reference, like, it's huge. Y'all, I love collard greens. They look so good. Look at that lettuce, y'all. Huge. Onions are looking really good. See, this is another problem. Soil. Oh, I could have just got that on there from the, um, pulling up that broccoli. So, all right, I'm going to give it, I'm going to give it a break. But, yeah. I planted this one, this tomato and that tomato, cause like they were struggling um, and they still don't look the best, but we'll see. We'll see. I mean, worst come the worst, I will take them out cause I have plenty more. Um, more lettuce, more co uh, collard, collard greens. Something was munching here. So usually when I see munching, I usually will just check the undersides of the leaves, just to make sure I don't see any caterpillars, especially with not being able to get out here and check on stuff. But it looked pretty good. Kale is coming back with a vengeance. Like my mom and I cut this stuff not even a week ago. And look at it. These are really getting munched on. So I might actually just go ahead and pull this. Like I don't see anything though. Where are you? Yeah, like, I don't know. 
Oh, you know what I might do? I might just move this one away from everything else. So whatever's munching on it can stay in this lane. But don't, don't munch on my collard greens. These are my toma my tomatoes, my potatoes, y'all. They are looking so good. Um, this is the first round of Yukon goals. This is a second one. You can see like it's starting to poke through right there. Um, I session plant my potatoes. Um, once again, more kale. Still looking good. This is my garlic. Still looking good. Uh, more onions. It almost looks like the onions are thinking about bulbing up. I probably gonna start coming in and uh, moving the uh, dirt from around them to give them space. Um, more tomatoes. I wanted to show y'all this. I actually saw this the other day. Mm, y'all see that? Let me let me see if I can get in there. Y'all see that? Mm -hmm. My little broccoli. Look at that. It's so cute, y'all. It's so cute. So excited, y'all. I love broccoli. This one is, uh, this is the early girl tomato again. So it's almost tall enough for me to actually start um, weaving it through my little system here, my little trellis system. So that'll be soon. Soon, soon, soon. Uh, this hasn't been uncovered. I feel like I should go ahead and uncover it. Oopsie. My actual like brassica bed. I know, Gleesey, why are you putting all your brassicas together? Because I can shade it all out in one spot and be completely fine. So that's why. Leave me alone. Um, this is... These... These look like collars, but I'm pretty sure that's ca um, cabbage. These look like, that's cabbage too. That's broccoli or cauliflower, one of them. Oh, it's got some munchers here. Don't see anything on the bottom. I don't know why I'm over here with no, with no gloves on, because if I see something, I'm a freak out. Well, I'm not going to freak out because usually it's a small caterpillar or something, but I ain't going to like it. Yes, this is broccoli or cauliflower. It look good. I'm going to leave this uncovered. I know I'm playing with fire, but I'm going to leave it uncovered. Like these leaves are huge. Huge. I'm very happy with this. We went from no, no um, rain to like nonstop rain. Like it's just been raining, y'all. This is, I think this is, huh? It's either broccoli or cauliflower one. I'm gonna take this leaf off so you can see. This is like when soil and stuff get on your leaves. Like this is the kind of stuff that happens. So. I usually just take it off and I have my little bin over there. Um, I usually just try to throw my, my scraps in. Um, the awesome part is y'all, I don't see no bug damage. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, thank you. But yes, all right, brassica bed looks good. I'm gonna leave this uncovered. Maybe just until tomorrow. Salad tower still looking good. Spinach. It's looking good. I haven't made any. I mean, I haven't uh, picked any yet. But uh, I will. I will. This is cabbage, I think. Yeah. I thought it was collard greens, but root of awakening. So this is... Y'all, this is where I had planted my green beans, y'all. Ain't nothing come up. Y'all, I'm real sad except a weed. But yeah, nothing came up. Like, I don't know what's going on. And this is the dragon tongue. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to start some inside today from seed. 
and then just transplant them in because I don't know what was going on. I don't know what happened. I had one here, but it just stopped growing. I do have some uh, cucumbers there. I planted those from seed, but those are pickling cucumbers. Um, the other ones are regular cucumbers that just decided they're not gonna grow. Yeah, I hope this this my my tomato plant is fine. Like, I want to like fertilize it, but I'm not sure if that's what it really needs. Y'all, let me know. Let me know, cause I don't know. All right, over here. This is where my green beans are. These are some sweet potato slips that I got from the store. Um, green beans are here. They still look good. This is my zucchini. So I have two green zucchini that I'm trying to grow vertically. Um, this little net is on it as a deterrent to the to the squash bug and or the vine boar. Oh, look at that strawberry. Oh, that looks good. Oh. I tell y'all, like, dang, y'all ate that whole strawberry, and I ain't even get it on camera. Like, I was supposed to be showing y'all how good my strawberry was, and I ain't even get it. Anyway, so this is, these are my indeterminate, oh no, I lied, these are my determinate tomatoes um, that I plan on using for, um, what am I planning on using these for? Sauce. Yes, I'm going to make some tomato sauce and can it. Y'all, I just think these are kind of sad because of the rain. Like, it literally has been raining, like, nonstop. And you can see, like, these have some, some yellowing. Um, I'm just going to take that off. I'm trying to be okay with pruning my things back. This one looks really good. No issues with that one. And this one does too. So this one has some um, some flowers, you can see. Always tickle your tomatoes. It helps them germinate. Not germinate. It helps to, um, with pollination. All right. Oh, and then that's my um, early Jersey Wakefield over there. My cabbage. Yeah, I'm hoping to get at least one cabbage. I don't know. I don't think it's looking too promising, but we'll see. Right, so I guess that's it. I just wanted to come out and kind of just like check on the garden because it's been raining and I've been working and oh, it just gives me such a release, a relief to know that things are doing okay in the garden. Y'all, it's May. It's gonna be May. <laughs> anyway, um, it's May. Y'all, and it's gonna be cold this week. Like, I needed to get a little bit warm. I don't need the 90 degrees like we had, but I need I need to get a little bit warmer, okay? All right, I hope y'all enjoyed me rambling and going on and on and showing you kind of what's going on in the garden. Thank you so much for being here. If you haven't, go ahead and hit the like button, subscribe, and join the Lamely. Um, I will see you guys in the next video. All you got to do is put some seeds in the ground. That's it. Bye, guys. <laughs>